this message is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Also, you could be a cross watcher, and this message could be for you. Um, or if you were drawn to the title, this message could be for you because you could have other strong planets in Pisces. So, anyway, um, I'll go ahead and get started. I've got the Oracle cards already pulled. I pulled some tarot, and I'm going to clarify with another tarot deck as we go. Um, so, before I read this, I want to tell you what this says on the front of the card. It says, who in the world are you getting to know that new you? And before I even look at the, the next one, or look at the message from that, I just want to show you the three animal spirit cards that came out. And that's kind of what I'm seeing. Okay, so this card um, indicates someone who is like pushy, like sharp, okay? And this one indicates someone with a busy mind can't concentrate. Kind of like I see someone like being like all over the place doing a bunch of things, right? And like do this, do that, this is how it is, right? And then this one is like a creative visionary, Some a lot of times a writer. Um, but this is someone who makes a difference in the world. It also indicates a move um, sometimes or like a vacation. But um, what I'm seeing is that many people might see this side of you. And this is the side that they're going to start seeing. Because I see this as like you have been all of these ways. So even this though this side might have been not on the like, um, like forefront of what people are seeing, I guess. It's like they might start seeing that part of you. Um, that's what I'm getting from those cards. So let's go ahead and read this message though from the Alice in Wonderland Oracle. It says, who in the world are you? It says, who in the world am I? Ah, that's the great puzzle. When you receive this card, you are being asked to rediscover yourself through the asking of the all-important question, who am I? As Alice so wisely says, that's the great puzzle. So many go through life being who they think they are, who others say they are, or who they think they ought to be. When they are truly in, when who they truly are is submerged beneath conformity, habit, stereotypes, cultural expectations, and other people's opinions. This card is asking you to ask this question and to assume, just for a moment, that you know that who just you are. This is your invitation to go beneath the rules and the assumptions. Allow your true self to show, slowly ascend and emerge from beneath the satisfying, stultifying feedback of the world and to be once again. When this card comes to you, it is the wonderful opportunity to live from the heart of yourself once more, to question all that you think you are, and to find out who you are right now. You may wish to mediate, meditate on this question or to find out who you are in new places with new people. You may like to start over to incarnate in a way. You may wish to travel. It's funny. <laughs> um, undergo some therapy, journal, or have a heartfelt conversations about how we become who we are at any given moment. Treat this like a wonderful adventure and an opportunity to forget what you think you know rather than going along with beliefs Aim truly, aim to truly see yourself. Puzzle out once again a rebirth into your new self. The divination for this card is a fascination with getting to know yourself again, growing into a new self, defying assumptions about who you are, exploring of the self, questioning who you are, told you are, changing at the very deep level, the readiness to evolve and experiment to come to a greater self knowledge. Interesting. And then we got one more oracle card as the overall energy, which is pranayama, and it's reversed. I just, I thought, hmm, I was just trying to remember which one that was exactly, but I don't want to guess just in case I'm not remembering correctly, I guess. <laughs> no, I was right. <laughs> um, this is just 
control of the breath. And let me read this to you. It says, inhale, one, two, three, pause, exhale, one, two, three, pause. Repeat six times before continuing to read. Just as practice will change the rest of your experience of this deck. How we breathe is how we live. Have your breaths been fast, shallow, or rushed? Has your life had similar qualities? Like I said, when we move through our breath without observance, we move through life, our lives without observance. Life is meant to be cherished, inhaled, devoured. Whenever things seem to be moving too quickly for words, come back to your breath. Especially those times when you feel like you can't take an extra 30 seconds off to breathe. This is what you need at most. Time is per your perception. You choose how fast it moves. That's interesting. Okay, so let's get into the reading. So the first card I got, this is an oracle card from the Moonology deck, but it says the answers you need are coming. So I feel like there's something you've been questioning with the eight of air reversed. So the eight of air talks about how you remember things when it's reversed and needing to question your memory. What I'm kind of getting from that though is that like our perception of reality, well, is how we experience reality. So it's like if, and a, a lot of our reality is largely based on our perception of the past. And if we're telling story, certain stories of the past, it will affect how our future flows. That's what comes to my mind. So let's see. It can also... Okay, we just got um, the Son of Wands, that you could be dealing with a fire sign, or that could be new inspiration, could be dealing with an Aries, particularly. Okay. Okay, this is... Okay. I got another card of Aries, but... Um, We've got the Two of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Four of Pentacles reversed, and the Four of Swords reversed. So there's a need for you to find balance. You do need to let loose and you do need to like meditate and rest for sure. It's like I feel like the answers that you need are coming. To you but for you to be able to recognize them and hear them you need to take a break you need to like calm yourself calm your breath um, let me read the full moon in Gemini to you and see if there's any more um, on that it says the card is a reminder it's important to speak your truth but remember that your words have consequences and impact your listener. Right now you need to guard against indiscretion. So, hmm, that's interesting. You could be, there could be something that you're not remembering right. Cause that eight of air reverse does suggest that as well. It says, um, the issue you're facing could well be one or a few conversations away from being resolved. If you're inquiring about love, a love situation, a little flirting may be called for. If you're in the middle of an argument, this card comes to you as a reminder of the old, very non-Gemini message. Least said, soonest mended. It's good to talk about, but be careful you aren't causing yourself any issues with your words. Words have enormous power. Your word is your wand. You create magic in your own reality every time you express yourself. And this is a wand 
the snake is holding the wand. It reminds me of like the rattle in the other, the sh mystical shaman oracle deck. Like, um, you are cautioned how you use it. it. I feel like you're dealing with a situation where you need to really watch how you speak. And I think this is part of being this guy rather than this. You need to be like this. I feel like you're going to have a situation resolved if you can be like the zebra. You have to remember what your ultimate um, desire is. So like, for instance, if you're dealing with a conflict, if you're wanting to hurt the other person, then okay, if that's really what you feel like is going to make you feel better that you probably most all might not be watching this if that's the case but but um if your ultimate desire is to have peace um in the world in your life um if you want people to love each other just remember that when you speak and it's not about lying or anything like that, but it's about your perspective and com communicating it. How you communicate it. Um, the next card you got is your commitment is being tested for first quarter moon and emotion and intellect. Okay. The emotion and intellect is about having a balanced approach. And this is being upright is suggesting that you do, that you are going, going into it with that, which is good. I feel like it's like there's going to be something coming up that's testing to see if you've evolved to that higher self right here, this zebra self. Um... Let me look at that. Your commitment is being tested real quick. First quarter moon. Okay. It says, there could be some challenges coming your way, but they're just the universe's way of testing you. The first quarter moon calls for you to face any hurdles with confidence. What do you actually think is possible? If you believe you can do it, then you probably can. If you can spend your life affirming that something is too big for you to surmount, it probably is. See how it works. Do you believe your dreams will come true or have you secretly already given up? Showing some commitment now will help you move towards your desired outcome. What do you believe is true? What you believe to be true is true for you. So believe in yourself. Hmm. So this could have to do with like, yeah, um, I mean, there's different, a lot of different scenarios of that could be in. If this is, has to do with you building something, it's like, maybe things haven't been coming the way you want. Are you, how are you going to look at it? You're going to look like, look at it like you are failure or how are you going to handle it okay now we just had justice come up reversed um and five of pentacles is at the bottom so it could be that there is a situation come that comes up that's really unfair um so keeping your cool is going to really help you at this time. Yeah, because you got the three of pentacles that just came out. This is what's going to help you build this mountain. Like, this is going to be your foundation. Um, it could have to do with the Libra, too, like if you're dealing with the Libra. But 
what I'm seeing is that this is like a test to show what kind of foundation you're going to build for your life, like for your future. Where are you going to go? Um, be bold and make the first move. Intuition reversed. Um, let's look at the be bold and make the first move real quick. That's the cardinal moon. It says, now is the time to be bold. <laughs> Bossy even. Take matters into your own hands. Cardinal signs are powerful and self-starting. They're determined and great at organizing. Drawing this card strongly suggests that you're going to need to be all of those things to get your ideal resolution or position in the situation you're asking about. This card might challenge you on how strongly you want something. If you're worrying about a situation, it is a suggestion to be less passive. Instead, take an assertive stance as you steer events to where you want them to go. Speak up for what you want. If you're serious about sorting things out, you may need to take the lead in some way. Step up as the leader. So this is about being like a bold leader, but being a bold, loving leader. Does that make sense? Um, it's not about being harsh or mean. It's like, um, it's like a Gandhi. That's, that's how I'm seeing it. Like, like, um, he uh, was nonviolent, but he stood up or what he believed in, in a nonviolent, peaceful, loving way, if that makes, that's what I'm seeing, is that type of movement. If you're worrying about something, it's saying, take action towards resolving it. Don't just sit there and do nothing. Um, and there's something about, um, needing to listen to your intuition if your intuition there's something that like if your intuition is telling you to do something you need to take action on it take action on it what is this um it might not make sense what is the intuition whoa tower and hermit Okay, the tower is something that's going to shake you, shake up your world, shake up a foundation, hermit. This is something looking within, shining the light on, on inside you, listening to your intuition. What is, the two of cups was at the bottom. What is, page of cups and the star? Wow. Okay, this is like um, the page of, or the Son of Cups and the Star is the tower. It's like, okay, so this is like, there's two ways this could be. This could be someone coming in with a love offer for you, that, and it could be your wish dream. This could also be like you finding self-love and healing. But this is like some kind of destined event. Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Virgo um, or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, this could be you being bold and making the first move. You could be doing it towards a Virgo. Um, what is the Hermit card? King of Cups is what fell on the floor. I'm going to get one more. But the King of Cups is like, um, let's see what else comes out real quick. The Three of Cups. 
this could be indicating that like there's been a lack of reunion because someone hasn't made a move and it's like saying do it even if it doesn't make sense that's what i'm getting <laughs> um Interesting. It's like all of a sudden this. It's like, um, so yeah, some of the, some of you, this is like a, some kind of relationship. Like you could um, maybe have been in an, some type of conflict with someone who maybe you want to actually be in a relationship with. <laughs> Um, and it's like, express yourself. Yeah, it's like, you need to tell them how you're really feeling. Because show the world the real you. And then the queen of air, she's not very emotional. <laughs> but she's really clear. Um, she's been through a lot. She says it how it is. And she... sees clearly show the world the real you let's read that real quick that's a full moon in Aquarius you could be dealing with an Aquarius because the Queen of Air could be Gemini Libra or Aquarius um, full moon in Aquarius there. Not what I was looking for okay it says this card brings a message from the cosmos that you need to detach a little from whatever situation you're asking about. Someone might be keeping you at an arm's length now, but it's no bad thing. It's important for you to allow life to unfold and progress, even if change seems like a frightening prospect. If you've been holding back yourself back from showing the world the real you, this card reminds you that your unique characteristics are what make you special in a relationship you are being are you being too aloof or detached go ahead and be yourself in whatever is coming up to you and she is kind of aloof and detached so this could be either the person that you've been dealing with or how you you've been coming off to people or even to this person possibly um, what's the Queen of Air? And the Sun. It's reversed. So that's like, could be a Leo. But the Sun shine is clear. So this is like, okay, the Sun being reversed, it's like, it's coming. The clarity is coming, okay? It's not here. Like, you haven't shown yet who you really are. You're the fullness. But it's like, uh, there. It's coming. What is that? Let's get one more. The sun. We got the world reversed. So, some, yeah, something's not over. There might have been a conflict with someone and it's not over with them. Like someone coming back. Um, yeah, let's let's keep going. Delight and self. And this is 14, same card as Temperance, um, which is a card of Sagittarius. But this card is um, self. This is like bringing balance to, to the self. Like um, she's meditating there, but she's got like all of the elements there. Well, I see fire, I see air, I see earth. Like, where's the water? But anyway. Um, hold on, there's too many cards there. So, why is self card? Let's see how many cards flipped over this time. Okay. <laughs> We got the Five of Swords and the Six of Swords reversed. There's like, um, I'm going to get a little clarity. The Six of Swords reversed can indicate 
again, some kind of return. Something returning. And the Five of Swords reverse can indicate, like, losing, but also is, like, no more inner conflict. And I feel like with the Self card, like, that's what it is. It's like you've, you're resolving the inner conflict. What is the... Um, like you're resolving the conflict because there's that balance of all of the elements so it's like no getting clarity no longer um feeling conflicted i'm almost seeing like conflict like um because in the beginning there was like conflict possibly conflict about how you remember something Um, what is the Five of Swords reversed for Pisces? I don't like it when they fall out the bottom. They keep doing that. I think it's because I'm... Okay, I need to listen to your intuition again, but this is the High Priestess, and this is your card. And the Two of Cups is at the bottom. Yeah, there's like, this is like a relationship or something. Um, if this isn't a relationship, this is um, like lining up with your soul's purpose, which uh, with your higher, like your higher self, which I also see with you being um, like being you, being real, instead of like this harsh energy, it's like becoming the zebra as well that's what it can indicate what is the six of swords reversed let's see what that is real quick what's the six of swords reversed? <laughs> the two of cups reversed i really feel like that's like someone that something was ended with something that had ended with a lover or something there's the ten of swords or like uh someone you were in a relationship with or a friend it could even be a friendship but it's like soulmate relationship coming back delight let's look at delight real quick it says the sparrows the sparrow grain gains its power from its num numbers it clusters. Sparrows eat, f eat and forage, and predators are distracted and deterred, even intimidated by their numbers. I just thought of something. Oh, that was weird. Um, security and joy in numbers is a lesson of the sparrow. Within their community, sparrows are always busy living life fully. Many cultures align the meaning of the sparrow with joy. In the Middle Ages, the sparrow was thought to be relieve suffering. Help one triumph over our hardships and bring joy. Delight is expanding in your life. Clap your hands with glee. Spend time with others. Go to a community gathering. Host a party. The joy you experience will give birth to immense creativity and your life will blossom. Share your happiness and elation with others and it will grow by leaps and bounds. This isn't the time to be serious or buckle down and get to work. This is a time to be spontaneous and madcap. Do not make hard and fast commitments. Don't sign any legal documents or make any pledges right now. Don't make any promises or you might not be able to keep them. Give yourself permission to have fun, lots of fun, especially in community with others. I feel like... That is part of you getting this balance. It's like connecting with others again. We got success as the next card. Sorry, that panther just like jumped out. I think that's a panther. I don't know. I'm not very good with animals. And the seven of water. I'm going to just read success real quick to you real quick since I got the book here. And then let's look at the seven of water. 
It says, tropical jungles are some of the richest and most successful habitats on our planet. They have incredible diversity, a multitude of plant varieties and animal inhabitants. They are dense with life force that will rapidly grow, growing and rapidly changing. The lushness of their vegetation is essential to the ecological health of the earth. In many ways, the success of the planet depends on the rainforest. Oh, these areas are called the lungs of the earth. So this is like replenishment for your soul. The plants absorb carbon dioxide, produce oxygen, and help reduce the impact of the worldwide climate change. In addition, thousands of plant and animal species that may have medical properties have not have yet to be discovered. Satisfaction, contentment, and fulfillment are at hand. Success is waiting to expand in your life. Be ready and to accept and embrace success, success, for it might occur rapidly. All is possible. The gates of triumph are waiting to open. Being in a state of gratitude for all the small successes in your life will give birth to larger ones. Your satisfaction will come in many forms and from many areas of life. Celebrate it all and breathe it all in, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. It is, this is an excellent time to make commitments, sign contracts, <laughs> make deals. Good fortune will ensue. Oh my gosh. That is funny because the last one said don't sign any contracts and then this one says sign contracts. Let's see what the Seven of um, Waters says real quick. So, the Seven of Water is about releasing control, like surrendering. And I think that it's easier to surrender when you're like having fun. And I think that that's where you're going to start to see success if you're not so focused on getting the success but rather enjoying what you're doing. I had three cards just flip out. I had the nine of cups with the eight of wands reversed and then the 10 of pentacles. So I feel like that it's like you're going to get the success, but it's, it's slowly coming in. It'll start slowly coming in, but you need to release the control of trying to get it So this, if this was a relationship, like like I said, because I'm really strongly seeing relationship here, it's like instead of trying to get into a relationship or be in a relationship, it's like just going out and having fun and not needing to be in a relationship. And then that's how you get the health, wealth, abundance. If it's a job, same thing, like enjoying what you're doing. Um... If it's your family, taking a vacation with your family. Because I do see travel. I hope... Sorry. This might be for someone. I just almost see you traveling and getting stuck where you're traveling. <laughs> and that bringing in some type of success. So if you do get stuck traveling, uh, don't get too frustrated with it because I'm showing a lot of abundance there. But anyway, that's what I have for you Pisces. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the video here. If you like this video, um, I appreciate all the likes. Subscribe to see more and I'll try and post more often. As well, if you want a personal reading, information for that's down below. And if you want to support the channel, there's ways to do that down below as well. All right, thank you.